I'm Contact 5 Investigator Dave Bowman. So why was Matthew Flores? And he is the man that sheriff's deputies say was caught after a high-speed chase driving Gary Levin's rideshare car. Why was he going to North Carolina? Well, we did some digging. We found he has ties here, including crimes here in western North Carolina, where he did two stints in prison including one for a crime committed here in 2020 in Hendersonville, North Carolina. No one is saying if these officers talked with Flores or if they received information that could tell them just what happened to the 74-year-old rideshare driver from Palm Beach Gardens. Basically, I can't elaborate on the investigation. I will tell you it's an active investigation and our officers were actually working uh, side to side with them to make sure you know, the investigation is properly uh, conducted. Rutherford County Sheriff Aaron Ellenberg says Levin's Kia Stinger remains in an undisclosed location. It could soon be shipped back to Florida. We're also learning more on why Flores allegedly fled to western North Carolina. Records show Flores' relatives once lived in this home, now boarded up and right across from the Hendersonville Police Station. In court Friday, Flores said he was headed to Hendersonville to turn himself in on a probation violation. Court files show he was arrested in October 2020 for hitting a police officer with his car, then speeding off. Police caught Flores in an adjacent county, and after his arrest, he served a year and seven months on drug and assault charges. Flores was released from prison last May. Police say he shot and killed a man in central Florida last week, which is why Sheriff Ellenberg believes Flores will be sent to Florida soon. He's been charged fleet elude here, which has nothing that compares to what he's been charged with in Florida. Right now, Matthew Flores is scheduled to be in court in a little more than two weeks to face the charges from the high-speed chase here in North Carolina. But Sheriff Ellenberg says there is a very good chance that in a much sooner period of time, an extradition hearing will be scheduled so that Flores can be sent back to Florida to face the murder charges in Wachula and any other potential charges that stem from the disappearance of Gary Levin. Reporting from Hendersonville, North Carolina, I'm Contact 5 Investigator Dave Bowman, WPTV News Channel 5.